With time running out, both sides of the fluoride debate out in full force today, doing what they can to bring you to the polls on Tuesday. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Ken Boddy. The sides have been trading punches for months, and now you finally get your say. Coin 6 reporter Chris Woodard is live outside City Hall, where it's all coming down to the wire, Chris. Yeah, for months, both sides here, Ken, have been investing a lot of work and have been campaigning hard. But neither side is quite ready to rest until this is all said and done on Tuesday. With every step, every conversation, campaigning today with the Healthy Kids Healthy Portland, and every piece of literature left behind, these volunteers are fighting hard for a win. Just talk to as many people as humanly possible. Both sides, it's been nonstop, and we've been working 12, 14 hour days, are getting their message out now only two days before the vote on whether or not to add fluoride to Portland's water. And both sides are making phone calls and knocking on doors. We feel that it's super important that we protect the water. Uh, we don't need more chemicals. There's better alternatives. This is what this whole campaign is about. And that's why we're keeping our nose to the grindstone and we're, keep, we're cautiously optimistic. Recent polls have shown a lead for those against fluoride but both sides are still feeling positive. We're finding supportive people and undecided voters. You know, we're, we're spending our time in, in areas where we hope to find likely supporters, and we are finding them, so it's, it's very uplifting. And while there was a big effort on both sides to get out there and talk to people this weekend, they're not done. They say they're going to continue to work hard until Tuesday. I don't forget, we're also talking about thousands and thousands of dollars that have been invested in this campaign. All of it coming to a head on Tuesday. Live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.